Plans.com has created a math program that follows the majority of the kindergarten curriculum in all the different strands. And it also follows today's best practices. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how numbers are introduced within the program. The numbers are from 1 to 10 are introduced through popular nursery rhymes. Prior to using the interactive math reader, the nursery rhyme Little Bo Peep would be read with the children. And then the, the math book, the corresponding math book, would be introduced to them. The pictures would be placed in a pocket chart along with the text or displayed on the smart board to use as a shared reading experience. I'm going to demonstrate the text of the reader and the interactive component to you. The book is called Little Bo Peep Number Book. Little Bo Peep looks after her sheep. She sees one sheep. The children would color one sheep. She sees two sheep. They would color another one, making two. Again, the book would continue with the text until it gets to number seven. In the math program, all new numbers are introduced through, ten, through the 10 frame system. The teacher would show the seven on the 10 frames. The children would have their own version of the 10 frames and make seven as the teacher demonstrates to them. Now in this program, the 10 frame starts at the top from the left to the right and then from the left to the right. This corresponds with the reading process. In the program, you will find mini dot cards and 10 frame cards. These are great to use for games. For example, if the focus is on number seven, all the dot cards with number 7 and 10 frame would be put together along with others. They would be placed upside down. The children would take turns pulling a card. If they land on, if they pull one of the focus, the focus number 7, they would place a bingo chip on their tally board. The first person to have their tally board completed would be the winner. This is a spinner recognition game. Player 1 takes a turn twisting the spinner. They have landed on the number 7, which is the focus number. So they would place a bingo chip on their tally board. The first person to have their tally board completed would be the winner. One of the curriculum outcomes are that children are to understand that a number is made up of two parts. In this, this game is great for demonstrating this to the children. I spray painted lima beans and allowed them to dry, so they become two colored sided counters. On one side is orange and the other side is white. The children would, would count seven lima beans and place these in a container. They would shake the container and see what combination they could get. They got four and three, so they placed this on, on their grid to show the combination. Again, they would do that and make four different combinations. Also, they could color these in to show these. And in the classroom, you can have that specific number. And below it is all the different combinations that make seven. If you'll notice, I put on plastic covers. So these are great to use in the centers because everything can be erased if you use a washable marker. After the children have practiced printing the number seven off the paper, which mean, mean they would practice it in the sand, in a salt tray, on each other's backs, or in pudding, or in shaving cream. They would be able to transfer this to paper. That's when they are ready to work in their printing book, which is provided in the program. They would show the 10 frame form of number seven by using a bingo marker. And then they, they would look at how the number seven is formed, over the dotted lines and then practice three of them on their own, giving it their best try. 